Yeah, it's it's definitely a very difficult process because uh, later in life, the child will have to start to establish their own identity, and that's when you get this, in a sense, an uh, an identity crisis within them because as they grow older, they want to assert themselves and have their sense of freedom, but it's different from the identity that was prescribed to them early on. And this is where oftentimes you'll hear in the alienation community, oh, sometime in the future, your children will come back. And it, it's a very uh, triggering thing to hear for a lot of parents because they, you know, they say, oh yeah, when? When is this gonna happen? You know, give me a, give me a time and a date, you know, show me the proof. And we totally understand that. And but the, the premise behind that is that when a child starts to develop their own identity, that's when they start to realize that they're not being allowed to be anything except what serves the alienating parent. Now, this doesn't happen universally. It doesn't happen at a magical age. There's no magic number, unfortunately. And some kids never develop an identity of their own. And, uh, and I speak that from experience. Um, so it's, it, 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 there's a, a lot of uh, possibilities across an entire spectrum of identity that a child can uh, grow into. But the, at least to my understanding, as far as why a child starts to see through the lies of the alienating parent, that only really begins when their identity within themselves speaks truths that their fake identity, the prescribed identity can't, uh, can't speak for. You know, whether they want to become somebody on their terms, on their, uh, on their rules and values, instead of what they're being expected to be. Yeah, absolutely. At, at, that crit at, at times where they start to question that. I mean, because we as human beings, children, all human beings, we're even more than our identity. We're our soul. And so this type of child abuse is even puncturing holes in their soul, I would put forward. And when that higher soul comes down to take a look and, and face that identity that can, is composed of their, who am I, their self-esteem, so on and so forth, those questions are gonna come up that, that you were just mentioning. And that's why this form of child abuse is so sad because ultimately as children, we wanna receive our the, as much love as we can, unconditional positive regard from our parents, unconditional love from our mom and our dad. And if we have an alienated parent or a high conflict between mom and dad, then we're not receiving as much love as we possibly can when we're a child. And so the ramifications of that, of that or when we grow up questioning our identity or whatever, we often feel like the world can't give us enough or we can't get what we need. We can't take care of ourselves. We can't make enough money because we originally were caught up in, in this, un, uh, in abuse where we didn't get the love that we needed. So that, that the, the consequences of that and how these children's lives unfold are very serious. Absolutely. Right. And, and it's just, it's just, if you don't get enough love from mom and dad, because they're in a high conflict divorce or in a power struggle over you. And when you get older and you, you don't, you can't find enough love in the world and, yep. and you've got to work your way backwards 